Hi, I'm Larry Cannon with a video about Sigil, the EPUB editor, available from code.google.com forward slash p forward slash Sigil. This video is mainly for people who are members of the free Facebook group Secrets to Publishing a Book. There are versions available for Windows, Linux and the Mac. But most important of all, apart from down downloading your desired package, be sure to download the user guide in EPUB format. By default, when the program starts, you're just given a single blank XHTML page. You've got all the usual editor functions. So we could change that to H1. We could center it. We can make it italic, bold, underline, super, subscript, whatever. There's no actual styles in this at the moment. So what I'm going to do is give you a little template to work on. OK, EPUB files are just a bunch of HTML pages and CWS, etc. That is uh, zipped. So, for example, if we have a look at that, that's a HTML page. Highlight all those and we'll zip them. So, add to archive. It's going to be a zip archive called larry.zip. Wonderful. Now we go and rename it. Now that's ready. Okay, I've given you a couple of styles. This particular header here and this text style here. And if we copy it, Control C, copy, and I can come below this paragraph here and Control V, paste, you might decide this Larry's gone way over the top, that heading's far too big, and so's that paragraph there. So we can watch what happens when we go into the styles and edit them. Let's say, for example, that instead of 2.5 EM, and EM is the size, of the default of the default font, so we'll just go twice as big. Now, instead of our rectangle, which is shaded 90% of the width, Instead of it being a pale blue colour, let's make it fully blue. Now, for our B text, instead of 1.5 BM, let's make it 1.25 BM. And for our head colour, Let's make it yellow. So it's just a tool, but it's a free tool. You can add links, pictures. You can actually put videos in, but I wouldn't bother because uh, it'll only work on an iPad, uh, not on uh, a Kindle of any model or a Nook reader. They can't play videos. Thanks for your time, and maybe you may wish to have a look at this.